All right, so we've been getting a lot of uh, just questions on the boat and just how we set it up because uh, we got a couple guys that are also in the beginning stages of building a John boat, you know, like an entry level John boat to take their kids out fishing on a pond or, you know, maybe maybe this is for their like your first boat you want to ever own. You don't want to pay too much money, so you, your only option is really a John boat with a maybe a 9.9 .9 or a 15 horsepower out back. So this is the video for those guys and uh, this is what I've done with my boat. Uh, I've worked on it nonstop pretty much, uh, adding this and that, trying different things ever since I bought it. So anyhow, I bought the boat, 2700 bucks. Uh, it was a 19, I think it's a 1999 or 2000 or something. I, don't, I forgot the year it was made, but it's an Aluma Craft 1436, I believe. I'm not even sure. I haven't really measured it, but it came with a Mercury 9.9 .9 in the back, which we'll get to, and it came with a trailer. Um, I had to do a lot of work on the trailer. The trailer was in rough shape, but... The reason why I bought it was because it came with the outboard. The outboard was only a year old when I bought it. So it was basically brand new. So it had the original oil in it and everything. The guy that uh, had it, uh, he said he barely even used it. Well, he used the boat a lot before he bought the outboard. And after he bought the outboard, he, for some reason, stopped using it. So they said the outboard's only been out for three, four trips on the lake that I usually fish too. So I know that the, uh, the guy took care of it. The lake's pretty good size. So he's not going to he's going to travel forever. So I uh, bought the boat, bought the outboard, bought everything, got everything for 2700 And then I all started adding a whole bunch of stuff to it. So all the other stuff, trolling motor, all the accessories, things I didn't mention before did not come with the boat and I had to put that in. So anyhow, uh, I did redo the wiring for the boat. And here's a little tip from me because I've seen it on another channel. I forgot who it was, but uh, on your safety uh, chains on your trailer, just run your lights with it. Just cable tie it together, kind of like that. So when you're loading and unloading, so instead of uh, uh, unplugging everything, you, all you gotta do is just unhook this, this, and hook it up here, and it keeps this plug out of the water. It's a little thing I picked up from another channel. Uh, another thing I have on this uh, boat is I have LED lights. We do a lot of fishing at night. And when we do, uh, we need lights. And this lights, uh, I have it rigged so it can shoot forward, or it can bend down. For you know, a lot of uh, a lot of the fishing we do at night is really shallow water, so you need to make sure you're not running into rocks or anything like that. And it is a pretty bright light. I forgot how many uh, lumens it was, but I bought two of them for thirty-five dollars off of eBay. Yeah, eBay. Um, this nav light wasn't on here. It was actually on a piece of. Uh, two by four that was just clamped on the front so i decided to just bolt it straight down just line it up the best as you can with the frame of the boat bolt it down um let's see oh yeah i forgot to mention uh this light is, comes with some of this hardware but this piece is not this is i bought from bass pro it's in the rod holder section and it comes with a hole drilled on it and you just put that on there it works pretty darn good the only thing is it, it does it's for some reason it's seized up it's aluminum it's corroded now the other thing i have on here is uh my loop my motor guide uh brute force 55 and i got this from cabela's i think it's a cabela special i don't think you can buy it from anywhere else and like i said it's a 52 52 volt uh 52 thrust uh trolling motor i got the wiring oh, i got the troll perfect um trolling motor stabilizer whatever you want to call it basically what that does is it makes your trolling motor easier to control uh it's more it makes it tougher to spin around so you're so when you're spinning around uh, especially on the higher speeds it doesn't throw you off the boat i also have side imaging on the boat side imaging is something you will probably never ever see on a boat this size side imaging for the Hummingbird 1198. At the time, it was the top of the line uh, Hummingbird. Uh, here's the GPS puck with direction, with a compass built in for the uh, 1198. This is a two inch ball, ram ball for my 1198. Um, here's kind of just a basic setup of it on this side. 
a of course they got a 15 pound uh, 15 pound anchor system I got some marker movies and a piece of wood in here because there's a the offset between the surface offset between the boat and the trolling motor pedal is too it's too different so you you have a lot of trouble controlling the boat so put that there to help it out to so you won't have to basically um, you know act like you're climbing steps or feel like you're climbing a step all the time and a lot of people uh, ask about this this is a vid totally separate video that I did this is a latch door these are like 80 bucks a piece and I got it from eBay as well from a online store who, who is an actual store kind of I think it's based out in the uh, Great Lakes area anyhow this is the inside of the uh, John boat you know, all my fishing tackle and everything in here. Top waters, frogs, uh, shallow water tanks, packs of uh, flukes. And this is the uh, live oil system for a cooler. And that's what I use. I think it's a lot easier to do. Just connect the positive and negative battery and you're ready to go. So once again, that's the uh, inside. It's a pretty good size. You put just about anything in there. They usually put a lot of life vests and uh, that type of stuff. And as for the electrical wiring, uh, we got the light wiring goes that way, the trolling motor lights and everything else comes kind of just this way. And it comes in through these ribs. I'm not exactly done with it because I need, do need to put some more uh, of those, uh, I, don't know call, I don't know what you would call them, but they're little jackets that you put on top of wiring once you're satisfied with the wiring. Okay, so anyhow, it comes down here. I got random stuff, random bungee leftovers. Uh, which I'm trying to replace and here's the master control switch eight buttons and we have everything from uh, nav lights fish finder power belch pump um, another light for navigation and what else oh yeah power pole as well and here's my uh, genius a noco genius mini gen 2 or uh, two bank charger. I only have one battery, but I have two bank system on it because it costs the same. So I ended up getting the two bank when I bought it off of eBay. And I have a back door as well, back hatch door, and it's offset from the center, as you can see, compared to the front. Because I figured you're going to be sitting here, so you don't want it to be too close up to the front because the, that, that will cause your ass to be half on it and half off of it because this is the main driving seat and it is offset it is offset from the uh, outboard so you'll sit right in the middle and your left hand's controlling the controls so that's what I got kind of thought that a little bit thought it was pretty cool and here's all my other stuff uh, we got the uh, 29 battery i kind of wanted a 31 size but i couldn't find it at walmart i guess walmart doesn't carry it so 31 everstart uh everstart max and we got fire extinguisher everything else goes in here this is where all your uh random ropes cable ties uh, w40 that goes in there and that's the back end of the uh controls control rocker switches and these are all on breakers uh, I got an extra prop in here. You guys can see that or not? Extra prop right there, um, and that's how the wiring is right there. Uh, you have an auxiliary power to charge cell phones in here, and oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys this. This is a mini amplifier, a waterproof amplifier that I've turned into my uh, hydrowave. If you guys want to know more about that, I will uh, show you guys more about that. Just leave me a comment somewhere and I'll uh, I'll show you. Got the sound and everything working. And it works sometimes, doesn't work sometimes, okay? Anyhow, more wiring coming out this way. You got a one inch ball mount, ram mount for extra camera stuff we'll be working on later. Nav light in the back. Had to put that in, did not come with a boat. Uh, what did come with the boat was just this. Uh, this is the three gallon gas tank with the Mercury 9.9. Mercury 9.9 is a, well, it's a four stroke as well. It's a 2011 model. 9.9 will push this boat. With one person in the boat, it'll push it 20 miles per hour. Okay, that's with the uh, upgraded prop. This is not the OEM prop. Well, it's an OEM, but it's not 
the original. It is a slightly wider and higher pitch prop. The nine and a half pitch, I think it's a nine and a half by nine inch prop, and it does pretty good. And 20 miles per hour, one person, two people, you're, you're probably gonna do about 17. Three people, you're looking like maybe just eight miles an hour because of the way the boat's designed. It's not gonna go much faster than that. The other thing I put on here is the uh, transom saver. For about a year, I didn't never put it in the transom saver. Um, and then one day I checked my boat and there was a crack right here in the transom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a crack right here. So that's when I put it in the transom saver. Um, and also when you're going over bumps and stuff, when you're trailering, it doesn't, the engine doesn't rock around a lot more. It's a lot better before you did that. Or before I did that, this engine, even though you had it in this position, when you once you get to the lake, it might be kind of cocked this way or that way. So stop that from happening. That's a good thing. Okay, and the other thing is uh, the re latest edition, well, second latest edition, is the PowerPole Micro. PowerPole Micro is on there. It is hardwired to a breaker switch, which goes to another battery, my my big battery. And then I also have uh, extra pedals. Um, actually, just one pedal. I, I had two, but one flew off on the highway, I think. And more nav lights. I do have a belge pump that's installed over there as well. Down here, I think I have a separate video on that on how to install it. It works pretty good until it gets down to about, you know, a quarter inch on the surface, and then maybe a half inch down here, and then it, it stops pumping. Um, so anyhow, yeah, uh, power pole. This is the original power pole um, stick for the micro micro unit micro power pole, and uh, it's eight and a half foot, and it comes with this piece, which I've uh, installed onto the uh, deck or whatever deck space I might have. It's on there, and I also have a fish retriever, fishing rod retriever, that is also just here, fishing net, and it's all just strapped down with a bungee. Um, let's, let's see, yeah, here's the fish finding, no, that's fish finding, this is the, uh, battery charger. I still gotta do something about this plug. I might have to just, uh, shorten it up or just hide it somewhere. Maybe just down here somewhere. But it is a NEMA IP, it's IP68 rated, so it's waterproof, waterproof down to about 10 meters or so. But that's the, uh, rundown of the boat, and, uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Not a lot of people uh, do this to their John boat, but uh, I have. And uh, I've done a lot. I've even changed the bearings and upgraded the tires on this uh, trailer. So let me know if you guys have any questions.